Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Liu Bei campaign. This is episode 29. We pick it up from turn 167 in the spring season of 216. So, uh, we're resuming here. Uh, hopefully, we'll be taking down the capital of Wu this episode. Uh, I definitely want to do that this episode. And I also want to start reunite our war with the Kingdom of Wei as well. Uh, so we can make a push for the end by the end of next episode. And if we look on the map, our two vassals, uh, we can look at this way to see our vassals. Uh, Shixie over here is going to our target area here. Uh, should be an easy take. And then I'm going to ask them to take this farmland as well. Um, over here, uh, Tian Qin Zhu. Uh, she has taken over bot for us after we gave her that command. So now we can give her a new command. And we're going to let her take this livestock farm. Uh, the city here is held by the yellow turban, so we're going to leave that alone. We're going to let her just take this livestock farm. So we just need to talk to them. Give them a new target. Yeah, I feel like this is probably the easiest for them to do. Uh, we definitely want them to keep expanding for us. Uh, because every territory they take goes towards our win condition. And later on, uh, maybe Shizhe can help us clean out some Cao Cao's territory as well. Over here, they just really need to be in a holding pattern. Uh, we don't need them to do too much for us. Elsewhere, let's just hop back into our northern campaign here against Zheng Jiang. Uh, we're wiping her out this turn, and we're going to maybe help Koron take care of the fishing port. A little bit optional there. He can do it himself. Um, first, it really doesn't matter which army here, but I do want the one behind. There we go. And that's it for Zheng Jiang, unless she has a straight army on the field. Uh, we'll release, maybe he'll come join us afterward. Because he will be fond of us releasing him. We got a treasure, now did the faction die? Yes, the faction died, that's good. Uh, Zheng Jiang clearly didn't die. Um, so maybe we can see her in the future, although I doubt she'll come join us. Alright, so he's a Zheng Jiang faction member, but because the faction died, he's in the pool now. He's quite good. Uh, we are kind of short on vanguards in general. He's also a Zheng Jiang member because they can actually help our replenishment. So we're going to grab a few. Now, we are pretty much wrapped up in the north. The only possible mission left is to go help here. But I don't want to do that. What I want to do is just recall this group entirely and we're going to send them south. Maybe she'll get to see her homeland before we wreck it. Uh, we probably don't need burn officers, but we might as well give Koron a little bit of a help. Um, I believe allies can absorb the bonus as well. Our uh, own army. Uh, but at least the enemy army is going to be lower. So he won't get the buff, but he, they will get the debuff. So we'll contribute a little bit this way. Uh, this army also doesn't need to stay in the north. As a matter of fact, I think we're going to just trust our diplomacy in the north and not leave any army here. And if anything bad should happen, let's say Zhang Yan or Yuan Shao backstab us, we'll just summon armies back. Or just lose territories. As long as we're gaining at a faster pace, it's going to be worth. Alright, so we're going to summon them off. Ooh, why is Dongzhuo army here? Alright, there's a crossing here. Let's take it. We'll join up before we go. This army is coming towards Dong. Now the question is, do we need to protect Dong anymore? That's also... Maybe it's not needed. Maybe they should just go on march as well. She's blocking the crossing. Alright, we'll go into the... What? March doesn't give us any extra movement? Hmm. Oh well. That's fine. Uh, with spring, let's pick up a new reform before we go south. Uh, definitely level 5 inbuilding. That's the one we've been waiting for. Let's get rid of this rebel group. 
Hopefully some will stay on the field. Close defeat. Never mind. Never mind. That's a first. Superior force but close defeat. Alright, we'll see if they come attack us then. We can also... Re ah, we'll keep them on the field. It's fine. The Imperial City can definitely hold out. Although the siege might make our income hurt a little bit. Uh, let's come help then. Alright, six officers should do it. Maybe it's time to give them better weapons. Alright, they're still on the field. Level up. That helps. There we go. Uh, let's give them reach. I'm gonna walk them back. I think we should keep them. It'll help our public order a little bit for a few turns. Alrighty, let's go south. Uh, first, the ambush here worked. So we are no longer in such a rush. But we do want to cut them off. And since they are on march, they can't really run away. Now, can we go a little closer? There we go. Reinforcement range close. Yep. They're running south. Hmm, do we need to chase them? It's a city here. That would hold. Cao Cao's in our territory? Hmm, it could make declaring war on him a little bit difficult. We'll keep chasing this guy. Over here... They need help. But first, we need to grab this lumber yard. We can ambush. Wow, the movement's really bad. We have to get out of this forest first. Alright, let's go here. We'll wait. We'll let them come and help us. We can summon a new army here if we really wanted to. Continue to downgrade. Alright, they moved, they moved. Time to crush this army. I think we just need to go into... Which county is he in? Oh, he's in the city county right now. Hmm. I guess we'll reinforce. It doesn't hurt. We'll lose mustering, but the units should replenish pretty fast even without mustering. Just to be safe. Ganning versus Huang Gai. It's like the what if if the pirate never joined Wu and kept fighting them. Ooh, another good weapon. I think we have a couple of those now. Wow. Weapon galore here. We gotta find one of our administrators. He has one. There we go. Extra expertise for you. Uh, you're on the battlefield. Let's give you this one instead. 
give you this one. Or actually, hold on, hold on. More damage, more stat. Take some. Oh, we used it already. Now, I feel like, though, most of these guys would have pretty decent weapons. Plus 12, that's a little bit higher. Jonah has a pretty nice weapon. Just looking for sentinel generals who are not administrators. Or a son. Yeah, take an axe. Alright, the cooldowns happened for the other sword, or else we could have given it to someone else. Alright. Handed them all out. Um, army's still on the map. Uh, there's no need to chase them down. Now, we do have a lot of army here. I don't think they can take it, but with Guanyu's help, maybe they can. So what we're going to do is put Guanyu here. Siege. Alright. Now, what we're going to do here is try to get an assignment in the next turn. Put a vanguard in here to help us with... Uh, we just recruited a few vanguard to help us with the replenishment. Uh, this is also a very nice command read. Too bad we ran out of administrator slots, so we're probably just going to go very low-key here. Convert to this. See, this is perfect, because we have a level 5 anti-corruption building, and then we can downgrade it below a small regional city. So we actually can keep the level 5 building. Get all the benefits without having to uh, keep the city at high level. Alright, I think they're fine. They can collapse, and then they can come help all together. Over here, we kind of moved everyone already. I think we got all our armies moved. We also recalled a few army, two armies that we can summon next turn. Uh, maybe here. Because we got to collapse onto Cao Cao's capital afterward. And I feel like we have enough army going towards Wu's capital already. So, lots happened. <laughs> lots of things. Oh, that reminds me. He needs to come back here. Uh, which commandery is it? It's, uh... Wait. Where did we want him to go again? Puyang, we have someone. Taiyuan, that's right. There we go. Now let's get building done. Done. Yeah, there's no point to upgrade if we haven't even hit our population max. We're struggling with the happiness here. Continue to upgrade the T. There we go. Alright, here we want marketplace. And then we also want... We, what we really want is the administrative office for anti-corruption. Let's get this done first. Because that will help income the most. Downgrade. Tea house and then grand tea house. All right, great. Um, I think we're good. Uh, the only thing we might want to do is summon a few new generals to take care of the rebels here because I don't think they can make it back in time. Well, I guess two turns. That's fine. Then they can make it back for sure. All right, let's just go to the next turn then. Wait, what? We will invite Liu Chong, Liu Chong, uh, Liu Chong into our coalition. Yeah, I don't mind that. He's uh down here, Liu Bao's old faction in the yellow. 
Hmm. Yeah, okay. Alright, we're still getting chased around down south. This is the outside the livestock farm. Uh, we're just going to keep retreating. If he comes out farther, it'd be great. Alright, new turn. We have a new member in our uh, coalition. Uh, our other coalition member brokered the peace between us, which is fine. Long Zhuang is still alive. Alright, good traits, good traits. Only one new general. We'll take a look at him. Uh, let's do it right now. Understanding, formidable. Mm, not bad. Not willing to spy for us, though, so a little curious. All right, we have one assignment. This is important. This is the whole reason why we recruited so many vanguards. We want this one right here, military requisition. It will hurt reserves, but we really, really need the replenishment rate. Oh, no, that's... Wait, wait, wait. Wrong one. I'm looking at recruitment costs, but they don't, oh, none of them have it. I'm looking for this one, conscription, but we can't use Sun Yun for this because uh, he's she's much more useful for other things, like being a, a general on the battlefield. And I don't think there are any, yeah, there's no more Vanguard here. Hmm, a little sad. Do we have any Vanguard here? That might have it. Uh, we're really just short on vanguards. Okay, I think they can take care of it by themselves. Good. Hmm. Alright, anyways, that's really not our concern right now. We're gonna send this army... I don't see where Matong's army went, but maybe just guard the farmland. Dashi will trail behind Cao Cao, so that whenever we backstab him, we're ready to take down his army in our interior. Alright, let's hop in. Let's try to sail over here. They need help. We'll try to get them some help. Hmm. I feel like we can beat them. But even... Hmm. We need to cancel this movement. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, I think we can beat them. Alright, that works out. We'll just recruit him. Yeah, we'll take generals. Got his uh, siege weapon out of their retinue, that's why. Alright, try to get over here next turn. So the three of them will pile into Luoyang. And then we'll just hold Luoyang, which is pretty fine. Alright, they all move. They're defending. Down south. Hmm. We don't really have to go towards Changsha. Alright, Guan Yu can reach the rice paddy. That's good. Go debuff it. Two army behind us. Alright, we'll just delegate the win here. Ooh, level up. I don't care it's who 777 seven, seven right now. Who hit 8 first? Guan Yu. He has the advantage of leading the army. Finally got a war. Too bad we won't get to see it on the battlefield because our self-imposed uh, 
delegate only approach since uh, battle difficulty is now going on easy. All right, we can catch them, so we might as well catch them. Don't let them run anymore. And I hope if they remain on the field, they run this way, and then Ma Chao will clean up. Yep, all going according to plan. Can we catch them? Ah, we can't. Mm, that's fine. We probably need to come here to stop Guang Gai's force. Over here, we're being chased out, but it's fine because help is on the way. Panda bear. Is this a bamboo? Yeah, this is probably a bamboo lumberyard. Look at that. Although this isn't the right region for pandas in China. I think they just gave it to the bamboo. Yep, but pandas don't live here. Alright, out of items for him. I wonder if we can debuff the archery and that's enough for them to win the delegate fight. We can test out that theory here pretty easily. Let's see if that's enough for us to win. Nope. Still a close defeat. Um, we can still try to starve out. They'll probably chase us out during the end turn, but that's fine. So since this area is kind of stalling us, I think we'll summon one of the army here. Uh, also because Kaizi has pretty high population, so I feel like this army is going to recover pretty fast. How does it feel to return to your homeland? Her dad was born around here. This was the Wu Commandery, Sun Jian's hometown. Alright, they're here. We, can, we have another army that we can summon. Our target's very close. Uh, we can get our own tea, but it's not really important. Maybe, maybe we don't really need to take the Imperial City. We can probably work a piece out very soon. Hmm. We have another army sitting on our bench. Where should we send them, though? Hmm. Maybe still over here. Actually, let's get the copper mine. Wait, we don't have another army. Ah, we took out our conscription buildings, so we don't have any more slots. And we also don't have another army. I thought I, re re I, thought I recalled two groups. Yeah, we definitely recalled two groups. Right, him, him, and... <laughs> Which strategy is it? Her. So just we don't have any more uh, seasonal redeployment slots. That's a little awkward. Alright, that's fine. Alright, Koron, go. We'll scout for you. There's no one here. Go take them. Alright, their target is going. They took their job, so we're going to give them a new target. Ooh. Wait, why can't... It's not letting me click on them. Yeah, our coalition's pretty strong now. Give him a target here. Very simple. Grab us the tea house. I feel like these cities are strong enough to withstand the yellow turban forces. Uh, let's see. Cao Cao's hiding in this co alliance. Dong Zhuo, Lu Zhi, hmm. This is a little troubling. Let's see, any... Lu, okay. Ma Teng's willing to take peace. Well, he's... 
Well, we're about to take his territory, so I don't think we're going to offer the peace to him. Liu Zhang, however, has two pieces of land left. If he's willing to join us as a vassal... Nope, then he's not going to survive. We're going to let him take this and then maybe peace with him after. Nope. Trade agreement. Right, we opened up our route to Kongrong. That's what we've been waiting for. And you can definitely pay us for it. Um, per turn? Because you only have about 1,600. There we go. Not too bad. Okay. Still Wang Rui. We could, honestly, at this point, broker a deal with Wu. We're already at war with them, so it's not like they can double down on us. This might be a little awkward here. Yuan Shao. Mm, Yuan Shao is my main concern. Never mind, we'll pass on that. Um, we'll just get the buildings and continue. We're maybe two turns away from getting that capital. So let's rush over there. Yeah, we don't have any vanguard who can take on the assignment, which is sad. So we probably have to put someone in, uh, you know, a monetary role somewhere. Hold on. Convert to tea house. There we go. Here, speaking of monetary role, why don't you do it here? All right, I'm going to full build this just so I don't have to concern myself with this build anymore. There we go. Hmm. Population is actually going down. Administrator not strong enough to uh, push the population higher. What we really need is a higher level of this building because you get 24k population growth versus the 6 we are getting right now so that would help because right now we're losing 2k a turn we'll be gaining about uh, 12, 14 wait what are we talking about here 6, 18, 16 so it'll be plus 16 per turn uh, but we don't have the reforms for it we never went down the economic route there so that's fine Now this is perfect. Uh, we don't need any more buildings actually. Yeah, we have a lot of food. What we could do, if we have the reform for it, we don't, is that basically switch this to selling food now in these you know high income commanderies. We'll actually make a lot of money. Uh, we don't need the food production from this anymore. But we don't have the money. We don't have the reforms. So anyways, let's continue. Next turn. Yep, they still don't want us to uh, siege them out, which makes sense. We'll just retreat. Uh, another daughter, a oh, granddaughter, Zhuge Liang and uh, our daughter had another kid. Good thing they're getting busy. All right, we're just going to march right over. Oh, mate, they have a vassal stack. They don't have a stack of their own. Okay. Uh, they'll come help. They'll come debuff. We're sl we're healing nine percent. Just it's nice to have a population going on here to help us. Um, we're just gonna pop the army that's been sitting on the bench right here. I don't know who was leading it. Uh, who had reach? He does. Okay. There we go. Oh, went into the water. Okay, we're going to let them live. 
they're also going to take part in crushing Cao Cao's territory, so we definitely want the copper mine. We probably want to march over there, because it also connects us to these locations, which is how we're going to surround the city. Because it feels like Kaizi uh, over here is going a little slower than I anticipated. So it feels like a directly northern attack. It's much more reasonable at this point. Uh, they still need to replenish a little bit, so they'll take their time. Um, over here, we're just going to get ourselves ready for the lumber yard. We're betraying them the second we take the capital. Ooh. Hmm. Not sure who wins the delegate here, but I feel like it's us. All right, now their good time's over. We'll reinforce right here. And they can finally push out this uh, force right here. Still a close victory. There we go. Uh, we'll just release. We need some brownie points because we're about to peace out with Wu. I mean, technically we don't have to, but there's no reason for us to continue to be at war with them. Uh, Administrator of Longya. Uh, it's probably the best. More income right now. They need to stay put. We need to take advantage of the mustering here. Um, and then we we'll probably just take a naval trip all the way to the capital. It'd be, it'd be risky, but it would be the f fastest way for them to get there. And then for this group, we definitely want to take that last rice patty. And then we can skip out on all of these and they can start launching naval attacks. So I guess it's safe. Because there will be three armies moving along the coast together. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I feel like we have this down pat. Um, maybe they don't need to defend here because that army is staying close by. Maybe what we need to do is run down this way. And by run down, I mean run down. And uh, we'll just hover with you. Wherever you go, we go. Alright, we don't care about them. Alright, we gotta wait. Actually, they can go as far as they want. It's not like they're healing this turn. Maybe we can delegate a win here. Oh, we can. Okay. So we don't need to wait. Alright. We capture Luoyang, savior of the nation. Uh, once again, we save a kid, but uh, just a random event trigger for them. Alright, we get to keep their copy of the military infrastructure line, which is interesting. Uh, we absolutely don't need it. Uh, we could convert it to help defending here, but we'll just keep an army here instead. Uh, right now, it's not really meaningful for us, this entire building chain. What we could do is... We can play around with this a little bit. But ultimately, we're going to keep maybe four buildings max here. So let's do this, and then I'll play around with it next turn. There's, I have a plan for it. Over here... Hmm. I don't know what this army needs to do. Maybe just keep sailing down. They're taking their sweet time. Why are they not... I don't know. Not listening to us. See, look at them. They did their target. Look at them. They did their target. Oh, they didn't because Tal Tal took it. Ooh. Alright, anyways, we need to give new targets then. Some vassals are better than others. I don't blame them. They're down to one territory, so... Alright, let's see. Do we want you to continue to expand? Hmm... I think it's good. I think I think she's done her job. I want her to pull her army down. 
because we're attacking Tal Tal next. So go help the city. That's your excuse to move your army down. And definitely also don't really have a target. But maybe, yeah, just shift your army closer to Tal Tal's territory. Coron, get on it. Oh, he also has an army in our capital. Oh, he's contributing them in his own way. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I think we can peace out with Liu Zhang now because he has one. Two, he's in Hanzhong. Great place. That's where our whole clan started out. Now, what can he offer me? Even at this day, he doesn't want to join us. Then just pay us. Pay us all your income. Oh, that's all. Uh, I'm shocked. Oh my, we might take most of this too. He only has he only has thirteen fifty ish, thirteen forty eight. Uh, close. Seventy four. Sixty. Okay. All right, we pieced out with him. Kingdom of Wu almost, Ma Teng, uh, questionable. We don't really need to fight them anymore. I'm not interested in taking the trade port. It's much easier to defend Luoyang by itself. Yeah, let's negotiate this out. Hmm. The only place we can... Oh, actually, give us this. We'll give it to Kono as a gift. Ugh, okay. That's an expensive gift. Join... Ooh! Let's vassalize him. Let's do that. All right, everything's in use. We'll just give him food and money then. We'll do one. And then we'll just pay him. Let's start with 20k. And work our way down to wherever he feels is a reasonable price. Uh, that's fine. And then the last four points, we're gonna just make per turn payments. This might get pricey. Oh no, he's not greedy. Yeah, we're in laws. Your son's here. Your grandchild's here. There's no reason for us to fight. I feel like if we do this and this. Nice even numbers, there we go. We could also promise him autonomy. Forgot about that. Alright, things are going well. Uh, we definitely are going to have the 95 uh, counties just because the way we're vassalizing factions now. Uh, Koron can stop attacking it. We'll give him a new target. Remove target. And then we'll see if he has a new target. Oh, he can try to attack this. But he's not at war with them. Uh, that's too far. It's a rebel. These are all rebels. Okay. That's fine. Just stay put. Hang your army at our capital. And uh, speaking of rebels, we still have to take care of rebels first. Hmm, our son's doing well. We definitely didn't like him when he first came of age, but his uh, performance is growing on me. Who knows? Well, he's definitely not challenging Zhuge Liang for the faction leader spot, but. We won't send him off to die in battle. Not gonna create an accident for him. Alright, most of these are pretty good. There we go.
All right, large city to a city and then to a... Okay, we're good. Um, let's continue uh, getting the capital next turn. Can't wait. All right, so last minute peace deal from them. Well, the problem is there's no abdicate anymore, so we can't really take this deal. We need to win the game, so have to reject. Okay, new turn. This is what? Turn 170, autumn of 216. Kingdom of Wu is going to be no more. Alright, no more Vanguard. He's popped out over here, but he's a little late. Uh, first thing first, we really want this Copper Mine, but I don't think we can get there in time. We might just have to put it as one of the trade conditions for us to get it. Uh, but we'll see. Oh, they have armies here. Okay, not as easy as I expected. Uh, there's really no need for us to smash them around if we're trying to get a peace deal right after. Um, all we need to do is let them set up siege because we can't take this city with Guan Yu's army. Oh, that's... So we can't win this turn because there's no siege weapons here. That's a downside here. Huh. Uh, really not so great here. All right, let's wipe them out. Oh, I want that armor and the horse. Okay, so... Okay. Hmm. We could just turn around and fight them and like want you siege for a turn. They can't come out. They'll lose if they come out. He could recapture the rice patty, or I could just wipe him out. I like the second option here. Ooh. That's not a concubine, that's a local administrator. I always get that messed up. Alright, we'll just release her. Alright, level up on this army here. Okay, flaming shot. Alright, now go back. So if we're not actually going to be able to end them this turn. We actually have to fight these armies. Not that one, but definitely this one. Can we chase them? Yes, we can. All right. Which county are they in? They're in the rice paddy, so we'll be in the rice paddy. Alright, just have to remove them from the map so we don't get double teamed. Okay, we're good. Now they can go back. Alright, here we're good. We finally took the livestock farm. This army is pretty much ready to move. Um, oh, two more turns. Actually, we'll, we'll stay one more turn. They don't need to rush here. We'll move them into position here. And we don't need to take this, so we're just going to go with them. Alright, perfect. Um, hmm. Hmm. This is interesting. So... I think their job is to first wipe them out.
，我等信念如一，这便是上天的恩赐。Don't let them go out of your sight. All right, no rebels here. All right, we're just gonna clean them out. I'm surprised they can actually do casualty to us. All right, we're going here. These three boys. All right, they're friendly now, so these three boys suddenly don't have a job. We don't really need to sail all this way to go kill Dong Zhuo. Uh, we should just teleport some of them down. We have no armies in the north right now. We just have burn officers here. Who needs to be? All right, so we need to recall a bunch of guys. All right, we're keeping one guy here. I'm sending Sima Yi's army down south. We're just keeping this group here. Okay, it's a little bit thin defending the north, but I think we're okay. Um, over here, I think we're fine too. I think we just scan through the buildings real quick and take the next turn. Yes, what I want to do in Luoyang is. Quickly get this to level five before we downgrade. That way we get the very nice corruption reduction. Also get this to level five. Now we can downgrade, and while we downgrade, we can build the land development. So go to a city with level five buildings. It's not too bad. Ah, this building though. We want to convert, but we don't have the reform. So it's kind of just occupying a space, not contributing. But that's fine. We can't do much about it. All right, we're also reform locked here. All right, perfect. Let's continue. All right.、Uh, I think Sun Qian. Yep, this Sun Qian. Sun Qian has died. So we can pick a new general to take over his retinue. Oh, army of Sima Yi with Zhuge Liang would be sweet, wouldn't it? Let's do it. It's gonna waste a whole retinue of our units, but I feel like this is cooler here. Oh, our 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 coalition member is going to declare war on. Fight a、oh, bad omen. Oh, it's Lu Fan, not Sun Qian. How old was he? Curious. Sixty-eight. Okay. This should be a delegate win here. All right. Emperor C captured. All right, we're gonna sign a peace deal with them. But before we do, before we do, that can die. Before we do, I want to fight him one more time to see if we can capture him. Now, if we do capture him, his fate is gonna be. Execution because we want his items, I believe. But most likely, we're not going to be able to. Oh, got his horse. Did he win the duel? Yeah, he beat us in a duel. All right, we're going to release. 
We want them to be happy with us. Although I probably should have taken replenishment, uh, the the release, because that adds more points. Mm. My question is, should we do more attacks or should we just let them off? We definitely want the copper mine. There's no negotiation here. Look at this army. This army is interesting. Alright, we'll let them take it. I feel like now we can make peace after oh, after the rice patty. Hold on. We can reduce casualty a little bit, so we're going to just do it. Because we're still marching down after. Alright, we're going to have 10% even if we move, so I feel like we're going to do it. Time to start going down south. Alright, um... Oh, they're leading the army. Why? Alright, trying to get this. Yeah, she should lead the army. And well, I guess he's about to get it. Alright, time to start moving. I feel like that's all the fighting we're doing with Wu. We'll let him keep Jian An. And we'll let him keep a couple armies alive on the map. Because we technically could wipe everything out. We want peace. We also want to vassalize you. There we go. And we don't have to promise him anything so we can annex him. So I don't need anything from him. Because if I'm annexing him, it doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. There we go. Alright, mediate peace. Zhang Yan rejects. Okay, we need army in the north. We need armies in the north. Okay, this is awkward. Well, awkward for him that his army's right next to our army. Okay, first, maybe we can even make peace with him. Mm, he doesn't want to. That's fine. Um. Let me see, what can we do with him? I'm gonna ignore him, I think. Oh, we can also use them as trade partners. Like, we can absorb him, but he's not gonna be very happy with us, but we can still absorb him. I feel like that's the more fun type of move here. Alright, he's in a faction. We killed him. It was unfortunate. We were surrounded by five armies. We just had to execute or else we were going to get ourselves killed. We'll inherit a bunch of kids. He won't like us. He'll incur um, a big penalty for us. Oh? That, that's likely? Got my hopes up. I feel like... Yeah, he's not worth it. What if Yuan, Yuan Shao also declare war on us? It's just not worth it. Alright, let's absorb Sun Tzu. Or we can have him help us fight. Honestly though... <clears throat> Strategically, strategically, it's better to keep him as a vassal. We get a trade deal. We can send his armies into Tal Tal's territory, just like how Luger's armies are there right now. And we also get Huang Gai and Sun Ce, assuming they don't ditch the faction. 
let's wait one turn um, so that we'll do the same turn as we do it for when we attack Kingdom of Wei because we're going to incur a lot of untrustworthy at one time. So it's probably best we do it together. The invisible army from the city choking, choking her out. The invisible man from Luoyang. Oh, we got a bunch of good items. Uh, not really... Don't really think we need to go use those items right now, though. Alright, we need to send the army to wipe out that capital. This would be the closest. So, we took away one strategist, so we only have one now here. Gonna summon her and find who she works well with. Uh, they're both the same level. Oh, this guy's stronger. Right. Their job is to take the capital. I don't know how we're going to defend against these two other locations. Hmm. We probably need another army here, but we don't have any deployment spot. We could build one really, really fast. Yeah, it's really no excuse. Do we not have an empty slot anywhere? Oh, we really don't have an empty slot, do we? Alright, first let's get this to corruption reduction here. Oh, we can rush one here. 200. Alright. Two seasonal slot. We also need another one. Alright, fine. We'll... Where's die? There we are. Oh, they don't work well together. That's fine. Uh, we'll find a random strategist. Oh, we don't have a random strategist. We just have the strategist. And she's going to pick up... Oh, she's got good units. Not for a strategist, though. If we can get her killed and get the units over to a sentinel, it's not too bad. Uh, but that's probably not the option right now. Yeah, we're going to say goodbye to the dragon units. We can always get it back later. Hidden Axe is not that good. Especially... Yeah, we just say no to it. Okay, we're good. Uh, I think this army go here. This army will defend here, and we should be good. Now, we do have other armies who haven't moved. Stay on Cao Cao. Where is he? Because we're about to declare war on him next turn. Uh, Yellow Turban just moved away. Uh, if that's the case... Oh, for once I see an army from Liu Chong. If that's the case... This army here really has nothing to do. We can stay with Cao Cao too. Rebels again. Can you guys beat them? Do you guys need help? Here, take that. Any chance? Nope. Okay, that's a win. Uh, maybe they were low health last time it triggered, because they do take a while to heal. Oh, two turns. Mm, that's not the right theory then. Alright, uh, time to pour into Cao Cao's territory. Go on march this turn, just so we can get super close. Alright. 
I think the approach is this way. Just go down this way to the capital and be over. Okay, I think we actually moved everyone. And I'm pretty sure we just need Cao Cao's capital now. We're at 64. And I'm sure there's at least 20 from these uh, vassals. So anyways, uh, let's continue. Okay, new turn. Uh, we got a proxy war. Uh, Han Sui's old faction got into a proxy war to trigger with us. And uh, immediately our vassals all, all united against her. The Yuan brothers are still fighting it out. Hmm, he lost his vassal. Interesting. Hmm, we got a bow. Alright, we're going to end our episode here. Uh, next episode is definitely going to be our last episode. We're going to make the final push with our, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, nine armies towards Hotel's capital. Some of them won't make it. And we'll also annex over Sun Tzu's uh, faction so that we can let the brother and sister unite again. Too bad Sun, uh, Sun Quan can't meet up in that reunion, uh, but we were, our hands were tied, so can't do anything about that. And Cao Cao's army is going to get a real surprise um, when, <laughs> when we declare war on him at the beginning of next turn and uh, eliminate uh, their main force. Uh, what's going to be more interesting is I'm going to just put the army surrounding them so they're in the circle so Cao Cao can't retreat for out of this battle and he can stay in our land and watch his capital burn uh, while our armies close in on it. And that's going to wrap up this campaign. So see you guys then. Bye!